$50,000 per year every year for five years. I've done it. I've made that salary in music. Let's talk about it. Tip of the day. You know what's really funny is when I first started in my music career, I had my goals written out and I remember seeing that goal of making $55,000 a year in music and it was like a dream. It didn't even seem real, right? I had just finished uh, college for music, got my degree, my bachelor's degree in sound arts. I was in about $100,000 worth of debt from that degree. I was about to get my first student loan bill plus interest for $1,150 or something like that, right? Per month. And I was like, how am I going to even make this work? This just doesn't even make sense. And I realized then like I, I was thinking small, right? Now I, I know that. I know that for sure I was thinking small. But back then it felt like $55,000 a year in music. That would be crazy, right? That would be insane. So I like get into this moment where I'm like, wow, this is, this is unobtainable. I don't even know how I'm going to make that happen. And when I came down to LA, I had taken an internship and I, my first year working that job, I got hired on and my first year working that job, I made over $90,000. So not only is it obtainable, but I was shooting really low. I set my bar really low. And I want to tell you, like, the first thing you need to realize is, like, even just thinking about a salary in the music industry is setting your bar really low. It's thinking very small. Now, there are many ways to make a salary in music, but most of those ways are by working for other people. That's the truth. You become an employee. You become a ghostwriter. You become an engineer that works for, um, you know, a big composer, producer, artist etc and you become like their in-house engineer their in-house you know producer whatever those jobs sound like a great gig right but i'll tell you like when i worked for somebody else with music with my art and i was stuck making what they wanted me to make and how they sounded and making their sound and you know getting paychecks from them on their terms made me miserable i hated it I was like, yo, I got to stop doing this. I I mean, I literally thought about going back to working at restaurants because I just hated it so much. I didn't even like the idea like of like, oh, now I'm going to make art. Now I'm going to finally make my music and my art and the thing I'm passionate about. But you find really quickly that you're not so passionate anymore when you're making someone else's passion. Like you don't get to do what you want to do. Like that's really important to understand about getting a salary in music. Um, But if you do want to make a salary in music and you're okay with whatever, and you may feel like you are okay with whatever right now because you're not making enough money in music. But once you do, you realize really quickly that you would rather work a part-time job at McDonald's to uh, do your own thing, right? And uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I think looking back at it, I probably should have done that. Right. I should have done like a part time job at a restaurant or bartending and just done my own thing and started my own business and lost some money up front quicker so that I can be more established with what I'm doing and what I wanted to do and making my own rules and and like just making my own music and making my own art and doing it how I wanted to do it quicker. So that's what I'll say about getting a salary in business uh, in this music business is that you can easily do it. Go work for Spotify, go out work for uh, Apple Music, go be a curator, go be an in-house engineer, you know, get your chops up and uh, keep knocking those doors and keep uh, following up, keep the follow up really consistent and do it for a long time. And yeah, you'll get a salary, but you won't be doing what you want to do. So that's the, uh, that's the, the kind of the give and take of getting a salary in music. Now, if you really truly want to get into music, you have to understand this is an entrepreneurial endeavor. I've said it over and over and over and over again. I feel like I repeat myself all the time with that, but maybe you've never heard me say that. Music, the music business, being a producer, a composer, starting your own music industry is 100% 
You have to learn how to be an entrepreneur. You are an entrepreneur. You're your own sales and marketing team. You're your own creator. You're your own producer. You're your own engineer, your own content creator, your uh, customer service. You're everything. You take out your own garbage. You clean your own studio, right? Like that's just how it works. And uh, if you're not ready for that, then yeah, maybe it's a good time to get a part-time job and uh, start to learn some of those business skills. But that's it. I think like if you really want a salary in this business, you're going to have to give up a lot of things that, you know, you may have never gotten into this music business for. So just something to think about, you know, because I have done it. I, I did it for five years. You know, I worked on salary and stuff. So and uh, hopefully this is helping you make those decisions and choose your path. But uh, I highly recommend you kind of do a, a mixture of both. Like if you're going to get a salary as a uh, someone working for someone else's music dream and their own their own visions and their own sound, then also work on your path on the side and learn from that, right? Like go get that salaried position for three to five years, learn everything you can from those people that are doing it and learn how they run their business, who does their marketing, who who's their agent, like how does that all work? And then do your thing right? Use all those tools and all those things you're learning, those skills, and put them towards your own thing, always. And that's the tip of the day. If you really like this, click the link in the description. Let's talk more about your music business, building your music business. Uh, we have the Beat Gang, and I'd love it if you became part of it. The link is right there in the description. And uh, join now today. It'll be awesome. I think it'll be one of the things that'll really help you shift your career from, you know, working that part-time job and working part-time on your music to working full-time on your music. And that's it. That's the tip of the day. Almost every day. 